In this video, I'm going to show you how you can take almost any design and make it seamless from side to side in seconds using the new Photoshop Generative AI. Let's use this Tumblr wrap as an example. Right now, it's not seamless. First, make sure that your canvas size is the size that you need for your template. This is for a 20 ounce tumbler wrap, so my canvas size is 9.3 inches by 8.2 inches. I'm going to take my design, which is the same size as my canvas, and drag it all the way to the left until the right edge lines up with the middle line. The middle purple line should appear to indicate that your design is perfectly aligned with it. Then I'm going to duplicate my design by pressing Command J on my Mac and drag it all the way to the right until the left edge lines up with the middle line. Using the rectangular marquee tool, I'm going to make a rectangle in the middle that slightly overlaps the seam of the design. Now I click on Generative Fill, I leave this blank and I click Generate. Photoshop will create three different masks that fill this space. Usually one fits really well. If you don't get a good one, you can click Generate multiple times to get different results. I like the first one I came up with but I feel like this wave could look a little better. So using the lasso marquee, I'm going to select this area here and click generate again. This time I like the second option it came up with the best. Now I'm going to select all the layers, right click and merge them together. Now I click Command A to select my canvas and Command J to duplicate my selection. Then I delete the bottom layer. Now I'm going to select this layer and drag it all the way to the left again until the right edge lines up with the middle. Then I'm going to duplicate it and drag the new layer all the way to the right until the left edge lines up with the middle. Now I merged these layers together, but technically you can just save this as a PNG file and you just created a seamless design. Here you can see at the top is the new design, which is seamless, and the bottom is the original design where the seam is very visible. What about when your design is not the width that you need your Tumblr wrap or your template to be? In this case, you're going to create a new layer and using the paint bucket, fill it in with any color you like. Move this layer behind your design, select both layers, right click and click link layers. Now you're going to drag these linked layers all the way to the left until the right edge of your solid layer lines up with that middle line. Then click Command J to duplicate these two layers and move them all the way to the right until the left edge of the duplicate solid lined up with the middle line. Now you can delete your two solid layers. Now using the rectangular marquee tool, create a rectangle in the middle that covers the empty space, but also slightly overlaps both design layers. And then click generate. Side note, before you click generate, make sure your top layer is selected so that when your mask is generated, it appears on top of both your layers. Wow, the first mask fits perfectly. The other two aren't so bad either, but I'm definitely sticking with the first. Then you follow the same steps that we did the first time around. Then you just follow the same steps we did the first time around. And we have another seamless design. The top is the after and the bottom is the before. 